Hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to the Backyard server. I am here at the station that we built in the last episode, and on stream, I have done a bit of work. Well, this is actually off stream, this bit here. But I've done a bit of work on the, uh, the veil. We've now got it connecting up over this direction and heading over to there for going to... Whoop. It's obviously just kind of a floating... Uh, stick right now but it will turn into more of a uh, thing as we go on but that's going to be something I focus on in streams so make sure to check them out. I stream every Wednesday and Sunday. On over here we have a bit of road network set up. This is a uh, this is where the rail is going to kind of go and also going to have a bit of a high street here. So we have this sort of green line here this is going to be a tram line, uh, purely aesthetic at this point. But over here, where the rail comes out of the station, you're going to have a little T junction that will take you that way towards the west and this way, and then that will turn this way, and that'll head to the south, south, into the south, into the ocean. Uh, but that's not what I'm going to be doing today because I have been running into a bit of an issue uh, on stream last night. I what are you? Oh, hello. Yes, uh, on stream last night, I uh, ran into an issue in that I completely ran out of resources. Like, I think I'm pretty much entirely out of andesite. Uh, got a bit of stone, but not much. That's pretty much my entire supply. My real supply is this. So, yeah, we're going to have to get working on some resources. Luckily for Rails, I have my iron farm over there, which is doing absolutely fantastic. So that's not going to be a problem, but gold is going to be an issue. And a bit I didn't think was going to be an issue was uh, sticks. I'm going to need a lot of sticks. So I'm going to set up some wood farm or a bamboo farm or something. But I think it's going to be a bit unreasonable for me to get every single resource on my own. So I thought... As a way of sort of making this more of a group thing, how about we set up sort of a donation area? And I think this pink plot here is pretty much perfect for this. Yeah, I want to set up a building that lets people donate some materials and resources and stuff that I don't really have access to or at least large amounts of. Uh, before I can start working on this, I need to actually get some resources to build this place. And I have... Uh, I don't really have any design specifically in mind. I'm sort of thinking sandstone, so I'm going to have to go head, 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 head to my base and I might bring some of this stuff back so I can sort it because Jesus, oh my word. This one's a bit more organized, but this one's an absolute mess. Okay, let's just quickly pack everything up into a box and then we can start doing a bit of spring cleaning. All right, that's me all emptied out and clear. Oh, almost. Uh, there we go. That's me all emptied out and cleared, but this is starting to become a bit ridiculous. I'm, I'm getting sick of having just a wall of boxes. So I think I want to start trying to get some more dedicated areas around here just so it's a bit easier for me to keep track of everything. Because look at my wood boxes. I, this is this is incomprehensible. But I wanted to try an experiment with a few different ways of doing some storage. And I think the best place to start is going to be with the terracottas. Since terracotta is one of those block types where like, there's loads of versions. Like there's 32 different versions of terracotta which would be a lot of storage to do as like an individual set of chests each. Like that's more chests than like each, like every other stone type combined, I think. So I want to try and experiment with a bit of a different system, which is going to be making use of some shulkies. So I've got a decent chunk of them here from my uh, shulker hunting in the last episode, but I've also got the shulker to turn into a farm later on. But I want to start by doing a bit of, uh, I think, I don't want to do too much redstone, but I think back here is where I'm going to put this, because I, I don't really need terracotta that desperately, and I don't really want to make another building for it, since there's going to be just one type of block. So I might make a little storage yard out here, and we'll go with a bit of a... Well, we'll see. One sec. Yeah, boop, boop, there we go. Okay, so, what I'm thinking is we'll have uh, a bit of bulk storage for like the terracottas but it's not going to be categorized the way it's going to do it is probably similar to how Efo has been doing his storage on the hermitcraft server 
where basically I'll store it all bulk in just random chests like this. And if any specific type of terracotta starts to overwhelm it, I will pack it into a box. And then that can go somewhere. So I need to fit a deputy. So I want to set up a bit of redstone to make that a little bit uh, more efficient. And it's not going to be anything massive. It's going to be like buttons and stuff. I'm not going to be automating it. That, that's just unnecessary, I think. So uh, here's a little basic version of this. Basically, imagine that here you've got a bunch of terracotta. And say, for example, the light grey terracotta was starting to overflow the system. You just grab it out of the system, chuck it into the box here, and then just tap that. And then it will be stored into this, uh, uh, this large chest here. And you'll now just have a box dedicated to just light grey terracotta. So that way you can just sort of manually sort anything that starts to overwhelm. And that way you don't have to like have dedicated storage for like every single block type pre-made. It's more when the need arises, you'll start to make storage. So like Regenta Terracotta is one I use quite a bit. So I'm expecting this one to overflow the storage. So I'll probably have an I'll probably end up having a few boxes in here. Uh, I guess I could have it set up where there's also a like dropper or dispenser that places a new box in. But I don't really think that's necessary. As long as I've got a decent chunk of boxes here, it should be fine. I think for storages that have like a lot more use, I might do that. But for here in this weird corner, it should be fine. So now I want to start getting into the decoration phase, which should be pretty simple. And I also want to see if I can get something else to put on top of here. So I found this website called minecraft-heads.com and I got this uh, cool little barrel uh, head. So now that should muffle the sound of the note block and also look quite cool while it's doing it. That's awesome. Okay, let's uh, do some more decoration. And here we go, got a nice little bit of a mining area set up. Probably a bit risky to leave some TNT just out here. Just make sure no creepers get near. Also, I've got some stone buttons on the floor. I want to make sure none of them are actually next to the uh, the TNT, because if that one of them went off, that would be very sad. Uh, but yeah, so just imagine that the mining tower cut out the wall, bringing it over here. And then I'll just sort of pack them into the boxes when stuff gets overwhelming. So I want to start doing a few more of those for some of the other materials because this means I can now get rid of yeah, this box here. There we go. That's one box down out of many. I don't want to get too far into working on that though because I've got to work on the donation center at spawn. That's the primary focus. And I want to use sandstone for that, which is already getting quite full. I might have to bring over a... Uh... It's already overflowing. I think I want to start getting some smooth sandstone, so I need to start smelting some of this up. I don't actually have a super smelter, do I? No. Let's do that. The super smelter might be perfect for over here. Uh, and we can kind of finish off this little bit here, and we can call this area sort of a done project. That would be nice to just kind of have that sorted. So let me quickly clear out a part in the cliff, and we can just start to do that. Okay, here is the idea I've got going. Basically just having a little cave with some furnaces either side. I think this should probably uh, do me fine. Uh, I've got 16 here, so that's a pretty good number. I think I want to bring these ones forward, actually. There we go. That shouldn't be a bother. Then I just want to set up a uh, minecart system to actually start delivering the materials. And here it is. Oh, it's great. Pretty easy. Just uh, Basically, it's just two... Minecart hoppers up here, takes items over in the furnaces, cooks them up and then puts them in here. Ooh, bit of coal there, lovely. So now I just need to uh, fill up the uh, the fuel box and also put in my sandstone and we can get going with getting a bunch of smooth sandstone. So so while this was smelting, oh, we just finished right now. Uh, while this was smelting, I did a bit of texturing around the floor, got some gravel and cobble, and I've also connected it up to the outside with a nice little entrance, and I've added in a sort of little rock pileup, I think, which looks quite nice. I need to do a bit of work on the upper bits too, but I don't know if I want to start bringing in some other rock types. Uh, for now, I think I'll just leave it, but I've also been cooking up some glass. I need some glass for the building as well, probably. I've not really done any uh, brain thinking yet. But I've also got my smooth sandstone over here, so if I just quickly grab this shulker here and add that with glass. There we go, I can dye it on site, see what colour I want it. But I think I also want to grab some wood, but my wood selection is rather limited right now. 
it looks like I've got a lot of stuff, but it's kind of just random things. And I think I want to use mangrove. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a bit of uh, mangrove mining, which is going to be fun. Always fun to do that. So let's quickly do that. And I think we can head over to spawn and start uh, planning out a little bit of the area. <laughs> So this pink plot here is where I am wanting to do the donation center and I think I want to try and do it as two separate buildings. Blech. Way faster. And I think what I want to do is maybe have uh, like a building here and then have a second building sort of attached to the side. Might even bring one out a smidge. And the interior will just be one big building. I just kind of want to have it since it's on a corner. I want to make it so it's kind of got two fronts, at least is the idea. Uh, so I think I want to do something on the taller side for this sandstone building. I don't know how tall, maybe like about the height of this tree, maybe like this. Might actually widen this a little. Yeah, maybe something like that and then have this probably be a bit on the shorter side with probably a curved window. I think that could be a good sort of shape to go with. I'll start by making the big cuboid and then we can start working this around it. Okay, I think this is a pretty good basic shape. Got the big sandstone bit, got a bit of mud, like curved bit around the corner. And then also I've added this little bit of red up top. The side looks a little bit weird, but we can get to that in a second since it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. I can sort of bring it out a smidge, but uh, yeah, it should be good to start doing some more of the like roofs and stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do for all of them. I'm thinking maybe setting it up with Dark Prismarine. Yeah, it's subtle, but I quite like that out good combo. Then I don't really know what to do for the top roofs. I could do either do like little pointy bits or maybe just keep them flat. I really don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do a pointy for this one. I think that lower down. Okay, that's a bit of a better height. I might adjust the top bit to come out a bit more, but I don't know what colour for that. Maybe I could just stick with doing Prismarine for that as well. I think that's probably going to be a bit more appealing than having too many colours. I think I'm pushing the limit of my preferred colour palettes. Okay, I think that should be good for there. I don't know what I'm going to do for the top bit. I think I need a roof, like a pointy one, but maybe what I can do is just some of the depth a little. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I think I want to try pushing the bottom bit back a bit. The issue is that this wall is now like, like that. I, I don't like that. So I want to push this bit back as well. Okay, so now I've got this bit here, which looks to look a little bit top heavy. So what I want to do is add in some wool, which I think I have some here. Yep. Actually, no, I don't want to use wool. I want to use... Now I think it's just time to do a bit of minor tweaks here and there, just to sort of really bring out the shape and add a bit of a uh, splash of the colour, because this is obviously very plain. I'll add very minimal texture. I'm trying to... Uh, minimize as much texture as I can because I think it just kind of muddies the build but we will see how it goes and here we are oh it's looking so good I'm really happy with how this is turning out uh, I spent far too long working on this bit here, the amount of different iterations that went through, but I think I'm really happy with where it's at right now. Originally I had these like bits of the craggy bits as like walls, but it just had too much depth. It was kind of like, I don't know, it looked, it looked almost jagged. I didn't like it. So I like the balance it's at right now with a slightly inset bit. And I've also got some like benches and stuff and also got a like a utility pole, I guess, like it connects up to the tram line as if like that's powering it or being powered by the tram line. I don't really know if tram lines 
are powered. Is that how they work? It's connected up, so if it isn't, if it wasn't before, now it is. Um, I haven't really figured out what to do with the size just yet. Like it's just kind of flat right now. I'll probably add in a bit of the cobbly kind of sandstone along the top to add some texture, and maybe on the sides as well. And back here, God knows what I'm gonna do. But it's more of a just sort of I'll pick away at it. But before I get to doing any of the finicky stuff on the outside, I want to do some work on the inside by getting some uh, interior here so people can actually start donating stuff, because, yeah, I'm in great need of stuff soon. So I'm probably going to go with kind of like a charity shop interior. But basically it's just like a bunch of just stuff everywhere, crammed in as much as you physically can. But I want to make sure it's still, like, you can still walk around and stuff. I don't want it to be too cramped in here. Maybe add some, like, shelves and stuff. But I also need to have a lectern somewhere, because I need to kind of explain what this place is going to be. So I'll have to write that book out. Don't really know what that's going to be just yet. Okay, so I have filled in the book. It's basically just saying, hey, we need stuff. But also we have a uh, page here, which... Uh, mentions that we have a reward system. Basically, for every full row of currently listed bounty board items, uh, the player, the member can earn a diamond. And what that means is that we're going to have a like board of like signs over here, which will list the currently most needed items, stuff like redstone, gold, and site stuff like that. Also. We thank you for your help. Once all rail production has ended and the items are no longer needed, we will do a raffle to return the items to everyone on the server. We'll just sort of do like an event where we can spread all the items back to every player on the server, just because that seems... it seems unnecessary for me to keep them all, you know? We'll see what we have at the end, that is. But now I just need to... we'll actually do some of the interior stuff. So I need to get a bounty board, I need to get the barrel, and also want to make an upstairs section for overflow of items, just in case this isn't enough over here. God knows what people will be donating, so let's see. And I would say I am now done. I've got a bit of the exterior sorted now. Ooh. Uh, congrats, Pez. Uh, yeah, I've got the exterior working, got some like barrels outside, got like a, I guess like an emergency ladder up the side, and then a fence gate here, as well as some stuff out here. I've put a like, uh, painting here to act almost as like graffiti and that's just because it's like hiding the bulletin board on the inside but that's there and got like a pot and stuff all sorts and then on the inside I've got myself the bulletin board just with andesite wood redstone and gold for now as well as an upstairs area which is just as chaotic as downstairs so yeah it's it's, it's all sorted I'm ready to ready to go I've made a post on the discord to say that it's uh, open and hopefully we can get some donations soon but there's one more thing that I want to do right now, and that is going to be doing a bit of a resource rush, because uh, I want to get some stuff myself, because I want to start working on this uh, as soon as possible, really. So, how about we go do some, like, time lapses to call it? So I'll leave you guys with the time lapses, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!